On November 18th, the NJCU women's basketball team opened the 2009-2010 season with a home contest against the College of Staten Island. New Jersey City with one returning player from last year's squad, sophomore forward Ebony Cunningham driving to the hole and scoring here. Staten Island, the defending ECAC Metro champions, had two players in double figures here. Danielle McLaughlin with the spinning right-hander and CSI led 13-6 with 14-16 remaining. Rookie point guard Ashley Freeman had a strong debut with seven steals. Here she picks off a pass and races down the floor. Another newcomer who had a strong debut for the Knights was junior transfer Maisha Cook, number 21 here, with a strong rebound, one of nine she had in the game. NJCU will be a smaller, guard-oriented team this year, and they will be able to force turnovers. Here they strip the pocket of Ali Shanahan as Ashley Freeman picks up another steal. With 10.29 to go in the first half, rookie point guard Latifa Johnson finds Priya Dehaney with the jumper off the glass. NJCU would score 16 points in transition. Here another steal by Ashley Freeman, throws a pass up court to Ebony Cunningham, and after she regains possession of the ball, finds... Lindia Fisher in traffic for the layup. Ebony Cunningham was third in the NJAC last year in steals. Here she picks off one to go along with 13 points and seven rebounds. Cunningham makes it a three-point game with 7.43 left after missing her first shot, gets her own rebound, puts it back, and draws the foul. Beautiful basket with 5.37 left. Rookie point guard Latifa Johnson drives the lane, passes off to Kiara Denton who finishes the layup. The Dolphins took a 10-point, 28-18 lead with 53 seconds left in the first half. After Anika Antoine misses the layup attempt, Danielle McLaughlin's there for the rebound and the putback. Latifa Johnson had 11 points, 5 steals, and 4 assists. Here she picks off a pass, goes coast to coast. Knights trail 28-20 at halftime. Ashley Freeman made it 28-22 with two of her 8 points, this jumper in the lane. Ebony Cunningham finds Lindia Fisher underneath for the basket and one. Allie Shanahan had 22 points and shot 9 of 13 from the field. Here she hits a 3 to make it 36-24 CSI. Staten Island would score 8 straight points and make it a 14-point 38-24 lead. Here a layup by Caitlin Hepworth. More second half action. Ashley Freeman with the steal from behind. Maisha Cook comes up with it, throws it to Ebony Cunningham for the easy layup. ESI led 40-28 here, rebound by Hepworth leads to a fast break layup for Ali Shanahan. With two point guards on the floor, Ashley Freeman with the crossover, Latifa Johnson hits the three. But every time NJC would challenge the lead, CSI would answer. Here, a steal by Mallory Amonieros would lead to a fast break jump shot by Denise Zajon, and CSI led 44-31. Staten Island would score 7 straight points to take a 49-31 lead after a layup by Ali Shanahan. She would be on the receiving end of this full court pass for the fast break layup. But in the first game of the year, NJCU would continue the pressure. Ashley Freeman with the steal and then this running left-handed jump shot. More pressure from Freeman leads to more offense. Here yet another steal, this one at midcourt. And she goes uncontested to the basket for 2 points. NJCU made two threes in the game, both by Latifa Johnson, this one from four feet beyond the arc. With 4-11 remaining in traffic here, a steal by Priya Dehaney, loose ball to Latifa Johnson. It's a three-on-one, pretty pass by Johnson to Cunningham for the layup. Allie Shanahan will find Katie Hepworth for this layup as CSI scores 46 points in the paint. With 3.13 remaining, this steal by Denise Zajonk leads to a fast break layup for Ali Shanahan as CSI leads 68-48. Late in the game, nice steal by Latifa Johnson, tiptoe in the sideline. With 2.23 left, Ashley Freeman anticipates the pass. Her steal leads to a 3-on-1 easy layup for Latifa Johnson. One final highlight is Priya Dehaney with the steal, uncontested fast break layup. NJCU falls to CSI in the season opener 75-58. Follow the Gothic Knights all year on NJCUGothicKnights.com and see game highlights here on Gothic Vision.